Hey guys, uh, good evening, uh, good morning, good afternoon, senyo lahat dyan, uh, wherever you are in the world. So this is your mentor Neil, live now here at my FB page. So today guys, I'll be showing to you, uh, yesterday's uh, very good uh, trade on uh, US 30. And then I will be showing to you how I am hunting uh, forex opportunities uh, for today. So market uh, the London, I mean the New York session just uh, opened, and I actually found uh, some uh, opportunities, and uh, we'll, we'll show it to you, right? So sit back and enjoy, and uh, watch how I am analyzing my trades using smart money concepts right so let's uh, go back first to that yesterday's short position on US 30 US 100 and uh, German index uh, right so basically uh, we can replay it somewhere here okay so looking at the a higher time frame you can see that uh, this US 30 is uh, downtrending so meaning to say that we will only do shorting on this uh, instrument break of the structure here another break of the structure break of the structure bounds and then we have here price uh, uh, rejected on this uh, area here but uh, later on the uh, minute. later on uh, we broke a structure to the upside so meaning we will be looking at uh, another area where we can sell and uh, I found this as uh, the area where we can sell so I call it as uh, the uh, supply zone so, so we are still bearish on this so because we have still a break up structure to the downside here break up structure and now the price is just bouncing and going back to this uh, where we see an order block on the uh, 30 minutes so you see after the price hitting at that order block we have that uh, really wide range red candle we tried to bounce uh, when the price hits this uh, order block here did not really uh, hit exactly and then we are rejected again here and yesterday as well uh, there was that news that is coming out uh, at 8 p.m. Central European time which is uh, about the uh, interest rate uh, Fed interest rate and that news is really a market moving news uh, usually what I do is uh, wait for for the news to come out and exactly after the news come out you'll see this uh, price movement so now I'll uh, show to you in the two minutes time frame so you see we have this supply zone and I would like that uh, price to uh, retest again the high over here and form some rejection candle so as long as the price is going back here to this red area here especially this one where there is a bearish order block I would be selling the uh, US 30 so let's see. So the time here, timestamp is 9:32, and then now it's it's 8 p.m. So suddenly we have this wide range candle, uh, the white uh, bullish candle, and then uh, pin bar, a bearish pin bar. So this is the time when I started uh, uh, preparing to short because once the price uh, hit this resistance area where there is a bearish order block I, I already started to to wait for a short position 
so here a break of the low of this pin bar can be already a, a entry but let's see whether we can still find another entry point and that one is already a short uh, entry it can still retest back but as long as we still see that the price is still on this uh, area then we are good to short so right now let's say uh, I, I already entered the trade short so see what happens they tried to bounce back but still failing and then we broke this trend line here and the low of this swing low here so now I'm already more confident that I'm going for a short position so my target is going back to 30 minutes and then my target is those liquidities lying on this uh, trend line so my target is until here the low of this uh, can still also it can also go much lower here but this is my first uh, immediate target and uh, targeting that means that we have uh, Oops, I just want to measure the risk to reward. So, if this is our stop, we have here our entry, a break of the uh, pin bar, and then here is our target. The first target is 4.65R, the next target is 6.55 bar so let's see what's going to happen to the trade right so yeah I try to pull back but we keep on the momentum downward is very strong and now we hit the target or am I right so yeah that okay our main target is really here so wait for a while I can this is our main target here but there is also here we can already partially uh, take some profit but we can still hold until this to target the the liquidity here though for those who are who were long on this market so yeah let's see what's going to happen it's already 9.24 so a few minutes before market close so now it started to reverse so when I started to see this long range candle I already started to, to think that uh, might be that we are respecting this uh, demand zone over here and we are uh, reversing to, to shift the the trend to bounce again and maybe possibly continue the short but uh, I have closed my positions some of them so I think I only left one third of it and let's see what's going to happen okay the market is now closing okay actually it already closed somewhere here so I, I don't uh, hold my position overnight so I already close uh, the last uh, part of my trade over here although I did not achieve this one but we achieved until here so the uh, actual reward was the actual reward was 3.83 so that is really a very, very good uh, uh, reward within within one and a half hour so yeah so this is uh, how I trade uh, using smart money concepts uh, without any indicators just labeling my important zones demand and supply zones and where are the liquidities uh, sitting to and I hunt for those liquidities so alright so right now uh, let's check uh, some of the trades that I just uh, saw opportunities earlier so earlier I just entered Euro JPY so I will show to you why 
and this one I think I got stopped out with the gold I, I have uh, my order here and now it's heading to the other side so I, I think I will I will be stopped out here until unless it will bounce but I think my stop loss is already very very close to it anyway I have a, still a winning position which is Euro JPY and I'm going to show to you why it is an opportunity for me so yeah so looking at the daily you see that uh, we have here uh, equal lows and that equal lows uh, we have a liquidity grab so those stop losses sitting under this equal low which is right down here so if you are long euro jpy you probably have uh, a lot of people are putting their stop losses here so what happened here is that uh, those stop losses were uh, hit market makers push the price to push you out of the trade and then reverse back the trend and then so before that we have this break of the structure at this side so meaning to say that we are heading to the upward direction however we still uh, retested this uh, where uh, the there, there is a bullish order block the price is now sitting below the bullish order block at the one day and uh, I go to the one hour chart and here is our uh, if, you s if you remember here we have here our uh, demand zone labeled here including the low of that stop hunts uh, price action and that is this uh, demand zone so what happened now is that we have a downtrend that the at the one hour chart we keep on breaking structure until we break structure to the upside which indicates for me a change in character in the trend from a downtrend now we are starting to shift the trend from downtrend to up however it doesn't really just go directly going up but uh, what usually happens is a so-called Wyckoff uh, event where those uh, who are long and putting their stop losses below this trend line where there, uh, there are liquidities there and then the price market makers and big, big uh, banks and hedge funds are, are uh, hunting lower stop losses and uh, pushing you out of the trade and reversing the, the, the trend uh, into the other side of uh, and to the desired direction where you actually originally place your trade and remember that uh, in a daily chart we are actually bullish on this because we already broke a structure here we just pulled back and now we are creating a multiple bottom so this is double bottom and then we are another bottom all right so looking at what another chart and then i go to the lower time frame i found the entry here so so here we broke that structure from here and then we retested those who are long here are probably get stopped out and then I saw at the lower time frame another bottom so I, I could already uh, enter my trade actually this is the order block where where I was uh, waiting to be tested which was tested earlier at around 12.56 I could enter the trade and then it pulled back I added another position so right now I'm sitting with a uh, small profit uh, what about my target so I go back to my one hour my target is quite uh, uh, really nice so here on the equal highs that's my first and the other one is this one so if we measure the target it's actually a very very nice one target is uh, From where I entered somewhere here the first target is 6.94 R and the next target is 11.8 R so this is really what uh, it can do whenever you are trading with m smart money concepts because you are able to to maximize your risk to reward so imagine that you have only this very small risk while you have this a lot of space for your reward 
Alright, so that's it guys. Uh, I hope that uh, you learned something for today. Uh, till next time again uh, on my FB Live. Uh, so for those who are interested to learn smart money concepts, uh, Wyckoff techniques in trading, so it's basically a trading without any kind of uh, kind of indicators, then um, feel free to message me and I will I will respond to you with more details. Thanks again guys and God bless.